Hello everyone, welcome again. And in this demo, we are going to show you the demo of uh, uh, another project in JSP and Servlet, and uh, which is vehicle parking management system. So let's run the project first. And after that, we'll talk about the technical details about the application, what are the technologies and different tools are using, and what are the features and functionalities over there. Okay. So uh, the application is launched over there. Yeah, this is the front end. Okay, so uh, for the technical purpose perspective, it's uh, following the MBC architecture. So you can see the different packages are there, beams are there, controllers are there, and exceptions are there, models are there, utilities are there. And uh, for the front end side, we are using JSP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap. So all the front end page you will get here under the web thing. And it's a, it's, a, it's a Maven application. So here is your form.xml file. And uh, <clears throat> another thing is deployed over the Tomcat server. And so you can see the server here under the server section. So it's deploying over the Tomcat server. To manage the backend, it's using uh, MySQL database. And I think the MySQL version is eight. And the latest version is there. And this is your database and here, we can see the data into the user. Just if you if you want to see the data, just right click on the user table. Select the first record. You will see the entire username and the password. And uh, <clears throat> now let's see how can we run the application after setup. So uh, in case you have already this application or you bought this application from the code one and have set up in this way. So the next step you need to follow is right click on the application, go to run as run on the server select a server and solve server is a tomcat 8.5 click on finish application will automatically launch over the chrome browser and now let's check the demo what are the features and functionalities of the application after that we'll see the internal architecture <clears throat> how the code is working and how what is the code flow over there so <clears throat> so here we have an admin login and admin registration is also there so a new admin can registration over there so let's suppose i just enter fill up this in detail click on save um, it's admin is registered successfully and if i refresh my user table admin table i can see the data is here as an admin user now i can log in as an admin so i'm going to using this admin existing admin so this is all about the vehicle parking. So it means uh, this is the system that is going to set up on the gate of the parking where the admin is going to log in and they are going to park the bikes or vehicles. Okay. So uh, let's suppose we have a new vehicle. We'll see all the scenarios. The first scenario, let's suppose the new vehicle will come and admin need to enter the vehicle number. I suppose I just entered a unique vehicle number and uh, I uh, just parking time and the exist time. Let's suppose it's going to be parked for two hours or three hours and the date. So previous dates are disabled over there. So I can just select the current date or the upcoming dates and like the parking charges for per hours. Let's suppose 20 or 20 rupees, 20 rupees per hour. Or when I click on the save, let's say enter the correct time. So, okay, the time is moving on. And into another day. So let's suppose I'm going to select 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, it, it, it should work now. When I set this time, your yeah, vehicle is registered. So this is this was the new vehicle. And if I search for this vehicle now, it will be available here to park a thing. Okay, so under the vehicle list, I can check the available vehicles. And this vehicle is just registered and parked for the three years. The total price is 60 rupees. And now uh, the vehicle I have added as an admin, I have added the vehicle. I can check the list of vehicles here. Also, if I want to delete any vehicle, I can delete it from here. I just delete this one, the uh, previous one and the payment list. So admin can check the payment that is done by the users. Now let's come to the uh, user module. So when I log out as an admin, and here under the vehicle search, I just enter my vehicle number as a user, and I can see there is a due for 60 rupees that I need to pay. So I just click on pay. I need to enter my card number, my payment detail, and this is just dummy payment gateway. 
and these fields are disabled user cannot edit them because it's fixed the kind of the number should not be changed and the v in number like uh, the amount should not be changed when you click on the pay the payment is paid successfully now <clears throat> if i search this car this uh, vehicle again i can see the payment is paid now so let's suppose assume in that scenario and uh, the vehicle is already registered into the database and it's coming for the second time so if i search it here it will display an option to me to park if it is a new vehicle let's suppose some random vehicle is coming and i'm going to search this it will say no vehicle is parking it means that it is not available into the database so it will display only if the vehicle is registered okay so let's suppose this vehicle is coming for the second time and i want to park it again so the vehicle number is all uh, automatically coming from here from database and i suppose the park for 2 pm to uh, 3 pm and date date parking charge 50 rupees per hour i can save and now if i see the pam or if i uh, search for the vehicle from the user side user will get another option to pay this is a previous entry and the new entry is for the 50 rupees view so user can click on the pay option user can click the card details is again paid now if it user will search it it will show as a pay so these are the front end demo like how the application is working and this is the home page it's some simple slider so this is a simple minor project in jsp and survey now let's talk about more of the technical things it's using beans so here what are the beans are there the beans is the getter and setters that we are using to set the gate the um, like uh, the convert this property into object and going to set the values to the object and get the values from the object controller that is going to handle our request that is coming from the front end and uh, like uh, whenever you are submitting or op operating the application from the front end the data will be handled by this controller according to the like validation first uh, a controller will check the validations and after that the data will be sent it to the model part so model will be responsible to the database transaction so here we have all the database classes and methods so this data will be uh, send it or perform database operation from here and after that we have a utilities so utility will help us to make uh, some common operation like validate the data operate the data like database create a database connection and under the resources we have a property file that is contain the configuration of the application database configuration and all and under the web folder we have the front end things so js under the image you will find all the images that we're using in this application and under the jsps all the jsp forms and under the pom.xml we are using all the maven dependencies that is the required and also you can check the dependencies here under the dependency section so if i just move here go to library and check the maven dependencies you can see here and if you want to learn more about the maven things so you can just switch to code one um, channel uh, over the youtube and search here for the what is a maven we have created entire videos and day by day we are trying to cover the complete development in a um <clears throat> complete development training over there so you can keep subscribe the channel so you will get the notification continuously and in case you need the source code you can connect us over the gmail over the whatsapp and uh, don't worry about the setup and configuration we have a remote team that's going to help you to run the application at your machine and thank you for watching